What is going on YouTube? Andrew here and today we have my favorite NBA DFS picks for both FanDuel and DraftKings for Friday, December 17th of 2018. Uh, I'm just going to go through um, you know, the starting positions and give you guys my favorite players um, and just kind of go through why I picked them. Uh, before we get started, if you guys are wondering what this tool is I'm using, it's called Draft Dashboard. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, um, it is my number one recommended DFS tool. Um, it literally can take you from you know an awful DFS player to actually making money um, very frequently. So um, it is my number one recommended tool. So if you guys um, want to check out the review, I have that link below, as well as if you want to try it out yourself, I do have that link below as well. Um, but without further ado, we are going to get into this. If you guys do end up liking, be sure to subscribe because I am going to be posting DFS videos daily. Um, and be sure to like this video so I get more people to see it. So without further ado, let's start with our point guard for tonight. Um, so this one wasn't too hard to pick. Um, just looking at the whole slate, um, we got my boy Russell. And the reason I liked him is, you know, he has a pretty good value. Um, which is hard to find for a player that costs so much. Usually, you know, when they cost so much, it'll kind of skew the data and give them a low value. Um, however, it did not do this. Um, and so, you know, he's got a 4.61 value. Anything over 4.5 is pretty solid. And I, I bet you're wondering, okay, well, Steph Curry has a much higher value. Why don't you pick him? Well, if not only did Draft Dashboard rank Russell much higher in draft dashboard um, the ranking system is really really good um, but you know the defense he's playing against is 29th compared to Steph who's playing against the 10th best defense um, and at the position he's the defensive position that's playing against him um, they're 21st whereas Steph's is 13 so um, Steph is going to have harder defense um, obviously Russell is a bit more expensive but you know he, you know he has been scoring uh, pretty good last couple games. So 66 last game, um, getting decent minutes, um, and usage is about as expected. So um, he's also done <coughs> pretty good the last three games versus Chicago. You know each game he's had 46 points or more. Um, so you know he is going to get you, uh, you know, pretty good value. So. This is my point guard. I really like Russell's matchup for tonight. Um, I think it's going to be a big game for him where he could easily get 50 plus points. Um, so yeah, so I really like Russell for tonight. So at shooting guard, we have at shooting guard we have my boy Dennis Schroeder. Um, right off the bat, look at this 6.01 value, um, highest across the board for shooting guards. Um, and value means so much to me um, because obviously you you want to be getting the most bang for your buck. Um, not too expensive, right? Uh, you know, I think Demar's the most expensive. He's about three thousand dollars cheaper than Demar. This is on Fanduel, but these picks still work for DraftKings. Um, and so he's got a great matchup. His the defense that's going against him is not very good. Um, he was given an 87 overall ranking, so pretty solid. Um, and yeah, so he didn't have a great last game, but the two games before that, he was really good. So I have uh, no problem thinking that he'll be able to come back from this. Um, so yeah, and you know, his usage, um, you know, is about where it should be. Um, he gets good minutes, you know, about 30 per game. So um, he's just kind of one of those picks that. Um, I'm confident he's going to do pretty good. Maybe nothing extraordinary, but he's going to get you, um, like I said, good bang for your buck. So um, I've done a shorter at shooting guard. At small forward, we have LeBron James. Um, you know, pretty good value, especially for a player that's expensive. Um, like I said before, you know, it is hard to find expensive players with very high values. Um, and the reason his value is so high is because they're confident he's going to score a lot of points. Um, so he's projected almost 60 points. Um, and you can see he scored 61 points last game. Um, and versus uh, San Antonio, past couple games, he has done extremely well. So this is great to see. Uh, 61, 56, and 64. So if he gets you 60 points, um, he's going to be almost 5.5 times the value you paid for. So really awesome there. Another thing, defense he's going against isn't that hard. You can see 22nd 
team defense at his position, 24th in the NBA. So um, LeBron should have a good chance to, you know, score, get assists, stuff like that. Um, and he was ranked pretty high by draft dashboard, 97 overall, second highest on the slate behind Paul George. Why well, I didn't like Paul George uh, versus Chicago past couple games. Paul George hasn't been amazing. Um, Paul George value is almost, it's over one point less than LeBron's value. Um, and LeBron was just projected so much um, that that you can't not go with LeBron in, in this point. So um, really, really like LeBron here. Um, definitely going to be starting him. Uh, let's go to power forward. We got Blake Griffin. Um, another great value right here, 5.41. He's projected nearly 50 points. Um, and you can see last three games he's been around 40. Um, so I do think he will step it up a bit. Um, and one thing I love, the last three versus Philly, obviously he didn't play this one, but 62 and 78. So he's been great versus Philly the last two games. Um, uh, and defensive-wise, Philly as a team defense, they're not awful. But at, at the power forward position, they are not very good at all. One of the worst in the NBA. Um, so this is a big opportunity for Blake to come out. Um, and get a good amount of points. Um, if you guys do want a little bit of a cheaper option, one person I would look at is Kelly Olynyk. You can see right here at the position 30th overall. And he's been pretty solid um, for his value um, past couple games versus Phoenix. And yeah, in the last couple games, he's been pretty solid. So um, if you guys need to save some money, um, I would definitely go with Olynyk. But Blake Griffin is definitely my favorite across the board. Um, so yeah, so Blake Griffin, love him in this game. I think he's going to score a ton of points. So yeah. And finally, at the center position, we have Nerland's Noel. Bit of a cheaper play here. Um, as you can see right here, you know, Nicola is, you know, over double what Nerland's is. Um, Nerland's value is a little bit low. But uh, past couple games, he's been way above what his value is. You know, you can see here he's projected 13 points and his value is three from that. So all of these games here, he's been about four to five times his value. Um, and so, yeah, so he also has pretty low usage, which I kind of like because I think he's kind of a dark horse in this game. <coughs> and yeah, and since some of the other guys... I told you guys to pick were more expensive. Um, this is a good person to save some money on. You can see right here he's rated really high by draft dashboard. Um, and you can see defense he's going against is one of the worst in the NBA as well as the position. So Chicago, um, not the best at guarding the center position. So, um, you know, I think Nerlens is going to get a good amount of points here. Um, and he's also been pretty, pretty hot recently past three games, you know, 21, 34, 37. Um, and yeah, and so um, three games ago, he scored 32 versus Chicago, uh, didn't play second, and then last game got 19. So even if he got 19 points, um, that'd still be about four times his value, which isn't bad. Um, if you can get four times your value every single player, you're going to win some money, right? Another player I liked here was Steve Adams. He's just a little bit more expensive, but you can see um, great matchup here. And yeah, so obviously... Um, he's going to be the one ahead in Nerlens. Um, so I think both centers in this game are going to be, you know, in a good opportunity. <coughs> so if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And if you guys do want to check out Draft Dashboard for yourself, which I highly, highly recommend you guys do, hit that link in the description to try it out.